What's up guys, Marty Blends back with another tutorial and today we have a high textured crop top so let's jump right into the cut. First up you want to moisten up your canvas to be able to section with ease. Next, with your preferred trimmer, create a baseline contouring it to your client's head shape. In this case, I drop it a tad bit to leave the occipital area slightly darker. Guys, make sure both sides are proportional and try not to press too deep into the scalp. Now you want to remove everything underneath. For better gradients, use a shaver to get rid of all the stubble. Do this with little to no pressure and try to stay below the trimmer line you just made. With your clipper open, create a half inch guideline all around. And remember to work patiently on having each guideline as clean as possible. Now with the one and a half open, create a four inch guideline all around. Also notice how I do bring down the hair with a comb when working on high numbers. Alright now with the number 2 open, flow above the guide you just finished up on. This step will give your fade a nice transition into the top section. And remember to flick out just a tad bit, don't dig in. Okay closing up the lever, hit that baseline halfway through. If you notice that baseline doesn't come off with your clipper, use the trimmer to get rid of it. Keep in mind that you can also use both sides to have a nice flawless finish to the baseline. Now gradually open up the lever as you move up. Be patient and know that if you want to perfect your fading, you have to be willing to take time on a cut. With your half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline. Open up the lever now and go up another half inch. Using the number one open, break the line within the light and dark area. Finally open up the lever and use your corners to blend in the last line you're able to see. Guys don't be afraid to play around with the lever and focus on all the detail.
When it comes to detail, you are going to run up into situations where you need to slap on a previous guard and that's okay, just keep hitting the dark areas as you notice them. Blending shears and clipper over comb always give off a smooth transition within the parietal ridge area. I really suggest you do all the steps I just mentioned all over the entire head as you go. I just happen to be working on half for demonstration purposes only. Guys, if you happen to be wondering where to find these translucent guards, make sure to visit MartyBlends.com. Also, I just wanted to thank all of you for the support you've given to the channel. It definitely brings me joy to see all of y'all learning and getting better. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe as I will be uploading tutorials often. Starting up at the top, my model did have a comb over before, so I combed everything down into its place and scissor worked the lengthy part that used to comb over. Be precise with your shears and make sure you cut off anything that would eventually dangle off to the side. Okay, as for the texture up top, lay everything forward and cross cut, but be very diligent opening and closing up those shears as you run through. Make sure you do this in both directions. I now dry up and prepare the lineup. Personally, I use hairspray to keep everything in place while I line up. Using my FX3s, I start in the middle and work my way off to the corners. As for beards, I do have an entire tutorial on how to line up and fade them, so I highly suggest you go take a look if you want to get a more in-depth video. Guys, when styling, add a hint of clay and it will really bring out the crosscut method we used earlier. Apply it in circular motions. Now here is a cut for today's high textured crop. Let me know what y'all think and make sure to like this video. Subscribe if you're not yet. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.